Peeps, what's up? How's going? I gotta keep it real with y'all about that Potaseca video I dropped a few days back. Man, I didn't do my due diligence on that one. It was my first video, and I was trying to make some noise. You feel me? I didn't put in the work and just pulled info from random blogs, and also, my bad for not directly hitting y'all with the answer to the title of that video. Is this story fake or real? Well, today we're gonna talk about that. All right, let's get into it. It all started on June 3rd, 2023. There was this YouTube channel called Amazing Scenes that came out with a video called Slave with Over 200 Kids. That joint blew up because the story was wild crazy. Right now, that video got over 36 million views and a million likes. People started sharing it like crazy on platforms like TikTok and Facebook. Here's the funny part. The info we got was ultimately started and snowballed from the fake-ass video description, and it seems like that channel just made it up using some AI generator or something. Seems like they cooked up this story and even made a fake bio data for the Brazilian dude. Then all clout goblins started reposting it, putting their own spin on it, probably with the help of chatbots, and making videos about it. Since it became the talk of the internet, everybody and their grandma started dropping content on it. Man! There's a bunch of blogs out there telling this guy's whole life story. But let's be real, they all seem like they were written by some AI generator or something. It makes you wonder, can we even trust anything we find online? You know, like, who knows what's real and what's fake? So yeah, if y'all trying to get attention, you might think about making up controversial stories, slapping some pics and a voiceover, and bam, you got the next big thing. Nah, don't do that, man. Shoot, you know what? I might even start writing fictional hype stories about myself because this thing could blow up and next thing you know, there's going to be all kinds of stuff about me on the internet forever. It's scary and funny at the same time, right? But seriously, don't take everything you find on the internet too seriously. We know ChatGPT come up with some bullshit answers, but I'm telling you, if anything historically happened and it's on internet, that chatbot should have some record of it because it's been trained on like trillions of data points or something. I even hit up ChatGPT to get the lowdown on our guy Potaseca, but man, it came up empty-handed. No info on this dude. It's wild, right? Like, everything about this guy on the internet is straight up made up within the past few weeks. It seems like someone's playing some psyop, trying to make you believe in this stuff. But honestly, it's probably just a chain reaction of clout chasers doing their thing. People see something blowing up, and they want to hop on the wave. You know what I'm saying? It's wild how things can spiral out like that. It's straight up crazy how this dude's entire life story got conjured up out of thin air. Like, a whole historical moment was created based on some YouTube description generated by ChatGPT. It's like, the internet has the power to invent people and events out of nowhere. It's mind-boggling, my friend. Here's the thing. There ain't a shred of evidence to prove that this supposed 130-year-old man has ever walked to the earth. They claim he was born way back in 1828 and kicked the bucket in 1958. Now hold up, because the oldest verified person on record only made it to 122 years old. Plus, there ain't no official records or documents to back up this dude's existence. It's like everybody who saw that video just bought into it without a second thought. They're taking it all in like gospel truth, no questions asked. So yeah, that's some wild stuff right there. Let's keep it real here. Back in the 19th century, slaves were treated horribly. There's no denying that fact. If this man, Pataseca, really did father over 200 children, that would mean he slept with hundreds of women, but hold up. During those times, slaves had next to no access to medical care. The average lifespan of a slave was like only around 21 years old. And let's not forget the fact that slaves often faced sexual violence and were exposed to sexually transmitted infections like syphilis. Now back then, syphilis had no treatment. Antibiotics weren't even a thing until 1928. So if Pataseca actually existed, there are good chances that he would have succumbed to the devastating effects of STDs on his body and the mistreatment by his slave owners. And here's another thing. There's absolutely no information on the record on Internet about this man ever existing. In today's age, I could easily fabricate the same story using AI bots like ChatGPT and Imagine. It just goes to show how easily misinformation can spread. According to that cap story from the Amazing Scenes channel, or should I say Amazing Lies channel, Pataseka was supposedly working full-time, forced to breed hundreds of women every day. 
Hold up, that's like straight up impossible. Ain't no man on this planet capable of doing that, no matter how many industrial-grade zinc and vitamins you pump into yourself. Scientifically speaking, no man can shoot that amount. It's just not within the realm of possibility, dog. Listen up. No jokes. We can't play around when it comes to slavery. I understand. That stuff is serious business, and there were some real messed up events that went down. There were incidents about forced breeding that's real, but let's keep it real, this specific story we're talking about. Man, it sounds like some complete made-up bullshit. And by the way, I had to make this video to clear things up. My bad for not researching enough in the first one. And yo, I don't get why this lady got all offended when I said enjoyed. I didn't mean it like that. She straight up interpreted it wrong. Anyway, my boys, I'll catch you on the next video. Only subscribe if you feel like it, no pressure. And yo, let's all do our part and stop spreading these lies. Keep it real, y'all.